Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering by Stravan YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain you how to do the redesign. In this video, I will explain you how to do the redesign of failed members by using ETAP software. Sometimes if you do the designing process of building structural model by using ETAP software, sometimes it will fail the model uh, due to the effect of the high amount of the loading condition system which we are applied for those members according to the given specifications of the section properties. Okay. So in this video, I will explain you how to pass those members if you having the failed members in your ETAP software, this is the simple video. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. And if you are not yet downloaded our application, please download our application. Civil engineering Strong application is available in Google Play Store. The complete courses like Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, Primavera, P6 software are available in our application at the nominal prices. Try to utilize this offer. Let's start with our video. So just I am opening my model which is related to G plus 4 building model. So here I am selecting my ETAP software. So go to file option here. Click on open option here. So here I am selecting my model. I was already done the G plus 4 building model. Now you can see this is my building model which is consisting of A, B, C, D grid lines in X direction, 1, 2 in Y direction, having 5.5 meter in X direction, 4.5 plus uh, 5.5 which is approximately equal to 15.5 meter in length direction, width direction is consisting of 6.5 meter. Now we have to check the properties. So these are the properties M20 grade concrete, HYSD bar of 500 grade I was taken. The same process I will show you the frame section. So you can see beam section which is consisting of 250, 230 into 350 again column section which is consisting of 350 into 350 for this building now I am cancelling this option now after this we have to do the analysis process after applying the load cases I will show you the load cases which I was applied for this building go to define option now you can see these are the load cases dead load as well as the live loading condition I was applied for this so we will check the results part which is related to uh, analysis process for that go to analyze option click on check models initially we will check for the line checks here click on ok here you can see model has been checked with no warning messages go to analyze option click on run analysis option You can see here it was done with complete designing process uh, sorry analysis process so we will check for the displacement diagrams stresses if you want to see the displacement for stress diagrams apply load case shear force diagram this is bending one diagram you can cancel it display stress uh, sorry deform shape which is related to displacement diagram if you want to see the displacement diagram you can check here Okay, after this we will design these members, go to design option here, concrete frame design, click on initially view revised preferences, we will check the data according to IS code book, click on ok. Now after this go to design, concrete frame design, click on start design check option here, so that it will start designing of the members. 
you can see here you can observe here the designing section is done for the g plus 4 building structural model as per is 456 2000 code but you are observe here some of the columns which are presented at first story as well as the second story are failing here okay you can see here the b columns which are presented at the first story this is first story second story first story second story first story second story which are indicated with the help of the red color mark here you can observe here and some of the beams also failing here okay so because of this reason no reinforcement value will be shown for the columns or beams which are presented for this member okay as per our consideration all the beams are passed here for the building model and columns only failing here okay if your beams or columns if the beams or columns are failing in your project model it will show you the complete red color mark here like this so we have to modify the dimensions which is nothing but the cross section of the beam or column according to the higher dimensions like i was taken this beam uh, according to 0.35 into 0.23 for the building and column is 0.35 cross 0.35 but that particular section of the reinforcement is not show not having reinforcement for the column section because of the high amount of the load cases which are applied for the building so in order to pass those members just one solution is there we have to modify the dimensions of the columns or beams according to our consideration so here only the columns are failing that's why i will change the column cross section i will increase the column cross section let us take 460 cross 460 i will take which is approximately equal to 18 inches cross 18 inches dimensions i will take so depends upon my consideration i will take 460 into 460 for the column dimensions so that i will check whether the column is having uh, passing all the results or not in the same way if your beams are failing you can increase the size of the beam okay so that it will give you the results and it will pass the Uh, members according to your assume load calculations okay we will check for the columns first so for that just i am unlocking my model just click on unlock option click on okay option you can see here i was unlocked here now after this we will go to the define option section properties we will click on the frame sections it will show show you the beams and columns select the column section here click on modify show property option now we can see here we are already assigned with the column which is consisting of m20 grade having 350 cross 350 dimensions okay so m20 grade so depth as well as the width i am increasing here according to my assumption so you can see here i was taken 460 depth as well as the 460 width for the column section according to my assumption So now we will click on the modify show option. We will check the reinforcement here. Click on OK. Again click on OK option. Again click on OK. Now again we have to do the analysis process with the considerations of this uh, assignment of the new properties. Click on the run analysis option. now we can see it is showing the complete displacement diagram with the considerations of the dead load we will design this now go to design option concrete frame design select view revised preferences select as per is 456 2000 click on okay now again we will select design concrete frame design click on the start design check option for the frame sections now we can see here the columns are passing here but the beams which are presented at the ground story level are failing here okay which is related to the ground story level just we are seen here which is indicating with the red color mark okay but if you want to display those whether the beams are failing or passing we have the another option is also there in e type software go to design option here click on concrete frame design click on view revise uh, verify all members are passed or not you can click on here so that it will show you 50 concrete frame members are failing the design check result do you want to select them click on yes option you can see here all the beams are failing here so it was selected all the frame section which are presented here we are not at changed the beam cross section that's why it is showing the failing section 
now we will clear this section again we will unlock this section click on ok again go to define option here section property frame section again we will select the beam modify option now we will change the beam to 300 as a width and 460 is the depth click on ok again click on ok now again we will do the analysis process now we can see here it is showing the complete deflection diagram here like this now we will go to the design again concrete frame design again view revised preferences again IS456-2000 again click on ok again go to design concrete frame design click on start design check option again now we can see here all the members are passing for this member we will check according to the Failure section on again go to design concrete frame design click on view verify all members you can see here all frames are passed the design check results so by using this trial and error method we can modify the beam section dimensions and so that it will pass all the design results according to our assumed load calculation so this is the complete process how to pass the members after failing by using ETAP software if you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that question. And if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering. Thank you. We will see in the next class.